Hello and welcome to this video on Quart from Nano Modules. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. So Quart is a quad envelope generator, quad AD generator, or quad LFO, looping envelopes. We have rise and fall four times over, four trigger inputs, four outputs, and four range or speed switches. We control rise and fall time, which on the fastest position on the switch is a millisecond rise and fall. So it's a two millisecond envelope or LFO. This is an audio rate oscillator at this kind of speed. And then as we go across the medium range and the slower range, with rise and fall up full, we can get 90 second looping envelopes. As you can see on the LEDs, these will just loop when there's no input present. We don't have to enter any kind of mode to make these envelopes loop at all. This is now an envelope. It stops looping when we actually plug a cable in. They've all got their individual outputs. I'm going to mix them, use them to control all sorts of different things and give you some patch ideas in this video. Let's get stuck in. So here we'll look at the curves that Quart creates and we'll check out the range of speeds. Now, in the middle, on the fastest speeds, it does go very fast. This is looping and modulating a filter. We've got those nice exponential drops in voltage, decays or falls. And logarithmic rise or attacks. And for anything short or percussive, this mid position, the fastest envelope times, works really well. Flicking over to the right, to the medium envelopes, I find for most patches, both with triggered envelope behavior and with looping behavior, this is really nicely playable. It still goes very fast. But also gives me some nice LFO type shapes. Going across to the longest setting, Even in really basic East Coast subtractive synth style patches, I find myself often wanting more envelopes and more LFOs. Some mono synths, lots of great mono synths, have a single envelope and a single LFO. Some have two envelopes, two LFOs. That's what we've got going on here. We've got two envelopes that are triggered and two that are looping, like LFOs. I'll lose my reverb and my kick in the background so you can hear a really pure version of this patch. I remove my filter modulation. Near this PWM. My basic envelope. To my VCA. And as I close down my filter, let's add this envelope on the mixer here. Also add some of this looping envelope to modulate the filter. So I've got a more expressive or dynamic modulating pattern, even though what's going on is really a basic subtractive patch. Having four LFOs, looping envelopes or envelopes, it's handy. So here's a nice simple patch with four free running LFOs or looping envelopes, controlling the amplitude of four sine waves, some slightly fuzzier and dirtier than others, out into a mixer, creating a stereo mix with some reverb in the background. Now these envelopes control these VCAs top to bottom. So top VCA is this one. 
this is my root note and I'm tuned to a minor 7 chord G D B flat and F for anyone curious so G minor 7 then we've got the D B flat and then there's 4 VCA and F up top Simple patch, really nice animation just from this free running modulation, opening and closing these sounds, giving this soft chordal drone across those four VCAs. So here I'm using all four envelopes from Quart as triggered envelopes, triggers coming in. I'm using those to make a drum beat, all coming through Alt, going out into some effects and some compression. Now if I cancel this out on Alt, have font, which is my kind of little kick sound. Then got this bass sound, which is this top envelope. And then have a clap on channel two. Second envelope there. And then the third channel. Just letting this buzzy saw wave through. So here I'm creating some unique modulation by mixing all four of the quart outputs which are colour coded to the colours on screen on data there and into the Ma mixer or on the mixer with a link in the description and it's modulating a filter it just has a droning oscillator going in and there's a little bit of delay after the filter Filter is font, again video on that in the description. Nice resonant bandpass sweep. Now Ma allows me to mix these four signals and have a global level, nicely playable. This is going to modulate filter cutoff, but I'm taking the inverted out on Ma to modulate the resonance. With this up full, I'll just play around with Quart. So try mixing your modulation to create more unique modulation sources to modulate anything. As usual, I like to try and push things a bit further, so what you're actually listening to is one of the envelope at audio rate. It's really cool tones going on. Now what you're hearing is the bottom envelope being driven, triggered, at audio rate by this filter. Now if I remove some modulation from this filter, just turn my sound up. This audio rate triggers the bottom envelope. And it follows along nicely. I can shape that triggering of that envelope, soften the sound, to the point where this is now too long of an envelope to be triggered this fast. So if I actually drive this oscillating filter with a volt proactive sequence, this is playing a sequence into the trigger input, and that's what we're listening to. And it follows along nicely, again offering us a little bit of wave shaping. before it can't keep up. But I wanted to take this further and see if this envelope would track a modulated modulator nicely. So I'm using the oscillator above, just looping, not triggered. That's what's creating this XY curve, the difference between these two audio rate envelopes. And I'm gonna FM the filter. So I could do that without the sequence being involved. Still shape it a little bit. But let's sequence it as well. 
And then finally, this goes through the VCA with the top envelope triggered in time with this sequence. Opening and closing that VCA. So try listening to your envelopes. Try wave shaping. Some of your oscillators or oscillating filters. FM things use these audio envelopes. There's cool and quirky modulation sources. And that's it for this video on Quart. Check out videos on Ma, Alt and Font from Nano Modules, all linked in the description. And I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching. You can support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid if you wish. If not, thanks anyway, and I'll see you next time. Bye.